Hi there, my name is Macon Campbell and welcome to my workshop. So welcome to the second part of my cheap table saw upgrade mini series. So in my last video I made a new top for my table saw as well as a new fence. Uh, if you didn't see that video I'll drop a link in the description. In this video I'll be attempting to replace the stand of this table saw with a sort of rolling base. So for this one I decided to uh, actually draw up some plans in uh, Fusion 360 and this is what I came up with. A box on wheels with a door and a hole in the top. As you'll see later in this video I forgot to buy those hinges so I had to come up with a MacGyver hack. As with every project we'll start by cutting our materials. For this here project, I ain't using no straight edge. I'll just draw a line and try and eyeball it. Because as you can see in this video and the last, I'm not exactly going for pretty, I'm just going for functional. Do a quick dry fit here with the top and the bottom and the two sides just to make sure I haven't missed the plot somewhere. Then I can go ahead and cut the back and the door. I'll use the one here to mark the cut for the second one. Now I'm marking the hole that needs to go into the top of the base uh, so that the table saw's sawdust has a place to go. I've never done a plunge cut with a circular saw before so I had to psych myself up for this next part. But touch wood, no issues were had. I had to use a spring clamp here to hold the blade guard in position so that I could make these punch cuts. I use the cheap little hacksaw to finish the cuts and boy do I wish I had a Japanese style pull saw. After struggling with that I'm clearly pleased with myself. Moving on here I'm cutting some squares that are going to go into the corners of the base where I'll be attaching the casters. So with all the pieces cut, it's now time to start putting everything together and as you can see uh, in this project as well, I'm not using any glue. The plan is once I'm done with all the upgrades I want to do to this table saw and I'm looking down on my creation, there are things that I might want to change and having it not glued up just makes it easier. Besides, if by some miracle one day I happen to get a new fancy table saw, this material will probably be reclaimed and used for something else. Next I can attach the blocks at the base where the casters will be installed. I'll be drilling some holes and attaching them with coach screws. To mark the holes for the casters, I just traced the base of the caster onto a piece of paper and cut it out and this worked perfectly for me.
Now I'm cutting some pins out of a 6mm round bar which will become the hinges for my doors and yes, that just happened. You can almost see the despair on my face. GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition meet the garage floor. But I shook it off and carried on with my revolutionary new hinge design. Deburring the edges a bit. Now it's time to mark where the table saw will be attached to the unit. I'm pre-drilling from the top here with a very thin drill bit uh, to make it easier to center the force number when I drill from the other side. I'm drilling a recess here with the force number bit so that the T-nut that I'll be slamming in here will sit flush with the bottom. Now I'm just drilling out the center so that the shaft of the T-nut can fit in there. I'll lightly tap the T-nuts into position so that I can mark where the prongs are, after which I can drill them out and hopefully prevent any breakout. I'll cut the bolts to length with a hacksaw so that uh, they don't stick out when I install the table saw. I'll clean them up on the bench grinder so I don't have any issues catching thread in the T-nut. Now that the top is done I can attach that to the rest of the unit. Here I'm marking the front and the back edge of the door so I can find the center and drill the hole for my hinge pin. I'll mark the same position in the bottom of the door. Drill out the hole and check the depth and make sure that uh, it's deep enough for the pin to fit in. Suddenly I realized I was an idiot. Uh, obviously this door is not going to open because that front inside corner of the door is going to force out the outer panel and uh, possibly break it here. So I had to whip out the whole rasp and file and uh, round off those corners. So the top hinge pin will just get dropped into a hole that will be drilled through the top into the door and I'll leave just a little piece sticking out so that I can pull it out if I need to. Onto some filing. I think I'll speed this up some more because this is like watching paint dry. Once I'm done I can start with final assembly of the door along with a magnetic catch to keep it closed.
So finally I can install the table saw and man I can tell you that felt good. So looking back on this project, everything went pretty smooth, except for the fact that I forgot to buy hinges. But even that turned out okay. So once I was done, I decided to take the old stand and turn it into a tool trolley. Because one of the biggest problems I have in my shop is counter space. My tools always end up spread all over my work table, leaving me very little room to work. This is a nice little last minute project and I can really see how this is going to help me around the shop. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please give a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos, please subscribe. If you didn't see part one of the series, there will be a link in the description below. Stay tuned for more upgrades.